This visit comes at a time of great challenges in the health sector as we are working to resolve an industrial action which commenced since 2nd of August. I am pleased to learn of the positive role the Nigerian Medical Association has been playing, the Afex Association for medical doctors and dentists in Nigeria, especially with regard to the ongoing strike action. This is befitting a role of the Nigerian Medical Association as a mature umbrella organization led by such highly experienced professionals. I am proud also to learn of various feats that have been achieved in our hospitals, like the separation of co-joined twins, the brilliant efforts of our health personnel in handling the coronavirus pandemic, much of which has earned us recognition at home and abroad. And the recent appointment of one of your colleagues as Assistant Director General of the World Health Organization. We again warmly congratulate Dr. Chikwe Ehekwezu for this elevation. This administration has invested much in the health sector, including the increase of its budgetary allocation over the last year. Today, laboratories, intensive care units, isolation centers, and oxygen generating plants have multiplied all over Nigeria. This has done much to improve the national field of medicine. I also approved the Basic Health Care Provision Fund to support the development of primary health care of the grassroots level towards achieving universal health coverage and the sustainable development goals. Very recently, I have also commissioned a health sector reform committee under the chairmanship of the vice president to identify and address weaknesses in our health system and align with global best practices that raise public confidence. We are also supporting initiatives to expand health insurance coverage and bring more resources to health financing. Without doubt, we, however, have many more challenges ahead and much more to do for our large population. In this respect, it is important to remind you that as senior medical personnel and representatives of one of the most respected professional groups in the world, your responsibility for the health and well-being of Nigerians is clear. It does not end only with the welfare of your members, but must continue with a sense of responsibility for the entire country, including its socio-political health and national stability. The global economy has been seriously affected by the pandemic. And despite recent pleasing news of more than 5% economic growth of Nigeria in the last quarter, we are still finding fiscal challenges to deal with, like most other countries. The source of revenue that Nigeria has defended on for so long experienced global decline. Our population is rising fast, and the tension arising from both is fueling agitation, especially among our youth. Organizations like the Nigerian Medical Association could play a very useful, moderating role in this respect. The cause of coronavirus in Nigeria is not yet entirely clear, and we must prepare ourselves to respond as each situation demands. The pandemic and concern about a sad wave add to the public anxiety about health security. Protecting our citizens is therefore not to be left to government alone, but taken as a collective responsibility in which medical professionals especially play a critical role. 
speaking directly to the striking doctors now, I must say that embarking on an industrial action at this time when Nigerians need you most is definitely not the best action to take, no matter the grievances. This administration has a good track record of paying all debts owed to government workers, pensioners, and contractors. And we have even revisited debts left by the first administration once due verifications is done. I can assure you, therefore, that debts genuinely owed health workers will be settled. The commitment of our government to find a durable solution to all outstanding issues cannot also be in doubt. I am aware of the several prolonged meetings that have been held between the government team and representatives of the striking doctors in this regard. I am also aware of consultations which the Vice President had with the NMA officials on Wednesday, 1st September, and with representatives of the resident doctors on Friday, 3rd September, all in a bid to find a common ground and get everybody back to work. Happily, I am informed that some of the 12 point demands in the ongoing strike were already addressed, although the review of a new hazard allowance has not been fully negotiated because of the sharp and deep division between the ranks of the striking doctors. The outstanding costume of an establishment cycle issued by the head of service, removing house officers NYSC doctors from scheme of service has also been satisfactorily resolved through an addendum circular from the National Salaries and Wages Commission, which clarifies that the affected doctors will continue to earn the amounts attached to them on their present wage structure. I request that the agreement reached in the meetings on the 20th and 21st August as captured in the MOU, which I have seen be rigorously implemented. I assure you a federal government firm support to enable us to enable full performance and to stem any further disruption of services in our health system, especially in the period of COVID-19 pandemic. To this end, I shall establish a mechanism to continuously monitor all issues in the sector and get all our commitments implemented without the need for any further strike actions. Accordingly, I use this opportunity to call on all health workers to return to their duty posts and I ask others contemplating strike to opt for amicable settlement of issues by negotiations, no matter how long it takes the lives of citizens that could be lost or damaged when doctors withdraw services are precious enough to justify a peaceful resolution of differences. I thank you once again, and God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Uh, Minister of Health, I'd like you to give me a copy of that speech, that short speech for my library. <laughs> <laughs> <Thank you. laughs>